Okay, so let's talk about funnels and email marketing and segmentation. So a funnel is just a series of steps that you have a person take to go from becoming a lead or someone potentially, like what's a lead, like uh, someone who might be an email subscriber or customer, and then taking steps or funneling them through to become a customer or to get them to take some type of action, right? So all of these steps create a funnel. And we are only, for the sake of this, going to focus on some very basic things. But I'll explain, you know, what everything is. <clears throat> okay, so we start here and we have leads hanging out on the internet. So technically, everyone watching this, you're potentially a lead for me to get on my email list. And then when you're on my email list, I can do nothing. I can email you. I can sell to you, whatever it is that may be. Um, and so, you know, we're on the internet hanging out and I spend most of my time on Twitter, right? I make these threads. I talk crazy. We have fun. We hang out. It's cool. And so for the people who want to know more about me, or maybe I have something to offer them, I have a link in my bio. And so if I were following my own advice and was segmenting properly, this link would say learn with Ari.com forward slash Twitter. And that would take you to a page. Um, let's see, do I have a form on this website? But that would take you to a page that had maybe some type of free offer or even a paid offer that's relevant to my audience on Twitter. So we talk a lot about tech, we talk about marketing, we talk about productivity. And so if I were being smart, I would have um, something on that learn with Ari forward slash Twitter page. Um, oh, this isn't a form. Well, let's pretend this is an email opt-in. And so this would say something like um, uh, marketing, I don't know career path for mark for digital marketing send me give me your email and i'll email this to you and then you know you'll opt in and so when you opt in that'll put you into convert kit mailchimp whatever it is you're using i'm using to hold emails and a form is attached to that right i'm getting to the point here but a form is attached to that and so the form name i'm going to call freebie the name of the freebie and then dash twitter and so basically, that's going to help me know, you know, when I'm pulling reports and stuff, okay, these people are coming from this Twitter form. These people are coming from this Instagram form. And these forms are all linked to different pages on my website, right? So I have forward slash Twitter, forward slash Instagram. And it could be the same freebie, it's just connected to a different form. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Now in ConvertKit, you can do automations and more advanced funnels it's a little bit more um you have more options in my opinion than something like mailchimp but mailchimp's free it's great to get started blah 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 you're fine on mailchimp but if you want to grow um, and do more advanced funnels i think something like convert kit or active campaign are better options now in convert kit you come in through my form right um oh i did forget a step here which was to send you the email but that's a given um, so anyway, you come in through my form and then I have a tag apply and it's my segmenting tag. And here's some resources for building a customer avatar. But basically, I when I'm on Twitter, I know who I'm speaking to. It's, it's your millennials, you work in tech, you wanna have a side hustle or already do, um, and you know, you make a good amount of money, right? And we can go deeper into that. Like most of you are single, most of you don't have children. Like you're really focused on, you know, hustling and stacking and putting yourselves in a better future. You want to make more money essentially, right? So from studying my analytics and getting to know you guys and understanding your demographics pretty well. So this freebie that I put on Twitter and linked to in my profile, I can put, I can name this segment of you guys on Twitter, like my tech nerds, you know, whatever that means to me. And in my operations manual, when it, I have a section for customer avatar and one of their names is tech nerds and it's all about you guys. It's hypothetical. <laughs> I wish I were that organized, <laughs> right? So that's what this segment tag is. So eventually with all, all, any freebie I make, 
should be associated with one of my segments slash customer avatar names, right? So if I have like, let's say someone wants me to promote something for them, like uh, Caroline wants me to promote one of her e-commerce products for her. I bought it, I used it, I loved it, sure, happy to promote it. I'm gonna pull, I'm probably gonna pull, I can pull tags of everyone who has my tech nerds tag and maybe like an interest in e-commerce if I were to somehow account for that on my list. This cat won't go away. And now I'm only emailing the people on my list who this offer would be relevant for instead of offering this to everybody. And let's say like I have, you know, my crafty mothers. They're probably not going to care. Oh, no, actually they would probably care about e-commerce. So anyway, I have my tech nerd segment and then I have um, my crafty mom segment, right? The way I, I promote Caroline's email is going to be, I'm going to say different things to my tech nerds than my crafty moms. My tech nerds, I'm going to probably you know, pitch it as like, this is a great for, this is great for side hustling, drop shipping, whatever. To my tech mom, I'm going to say something more like, hey, turn these, or not tech moms, crafty moms. I'm going to say, hey, you're making these crafts. Like we're doing this cool stuff. Like why not make a little bit of money and start an e-commerce store? Here's Caroline's product. So when you set this stuff up correctly from the beginning, even if you're not emailing and using it this way, you give yourself the option to, as you grow, and your list isn't so big that you're smacking yourself like, damn, I wish I had this information from the beginning. You're set up for success and scaling right from the jump. Um, and then lead, a lead tag is applied. And so if you don't know what tags are, just Google convert kit tags, but they're basically ways to identify specifics about people on your list if you apply them through your funnel. So I have lead tags for which platform these people came from, right? So I can see how many people come from Twitter, or I can email people, uh, you know, send an email to everyone with a lead tag from Twitter and Instagram or from my blog or my website pop up or the sidebar on my blog on my website. All right. So we have these different tags applied, right? So they come through the form, they get a segment tag, they get a lead tag, and then they get two more tags currently in sequence and then currently in sequence slash welcome sequence. And this is just what specific funnel or sequence they're in. Um, and so this helps me when, let's say, I have my main list and I have new people coming onto my list. The new people are gonna get these tags. But when I send my weekly email, I'm gonna send it to everyone with my main list tag, and I'm going to exclude everyone with a currently in sequence tag, right? So that's why I like to have this general one and then the specific one. This general one gets applied anytime someone enters a new email sequence slash automation. And then it also gets applied, the specific one gets applied also. But I use this broader, more general one to say, okay, these people are currently getting a bunch of emails. Don't add your like weekly main list email on top of that and interrupt their experience and flow and bombard them, right? So this is super important to set up. And it, it helps um, keep people on track and moving through the funnel the way you want, but also like who wants to get like a bunch of emails out of context, right? Keep them on one path. Okay, so completed welcome sequence tag. So before I put them in the welcome sequence, I'm having ConvertKit look for this tag, completed funnel welcome sequence. And so once someone goes through my welcome sequence, they get that tag. And so right here, we're checking to make sure they do not have that tag so that they do not go through my welcome sequence again, right? Once is enough, and I don't want them going through it again. So if they don't have that tag, then we proceed with the welcome sequence emails. And you can read Invisible Selling Machine by Ryan Dice. It walks you through the number of emails to have. It gives you email templates to tweak and use on your own. It's not a perfect book, but it's good enough to get this started. Sorry, one sec. It's good enough to get you started and to get you going. Ugh, damn cat. Once they get all those emails, they get a completed funnel welcome sequence tag, right? And then I apply my main list tag. And then we remove currently in sequence and then remove currently in sequence welcome sequence. And so um, I always, I'm always adding and removing currently in sequence and then the, the specific currently in sequence depending on the automation that they're going into. And just make this a part of your standard procedures when you're creating funnels.
And you can use this. I built this flow chart so you could always see and remind yourself, okay, these are the things, these are some naming conventions I should have, blah, blah, blah. If they already have the completed welcome sequence tag, they do not go into the welcome sequence. I uh, make sure to apply the main list tag. And this is just backup and redundancy, right? If they completed the welcome sequence, they technically should have this tag already. But if not, you know, I'm, it's technology. I never count on it. I never expect for it to work 100% of the time. Um, they get that tag. And then this is just cleanup also for them, right? So like, I just want to remove any currently in sequence tags so that when I do want to email my main list, I can, and they don't have this tag, which would prevent them from doing that. Um, and then once they have this main list tag, they're approved to, for me to send weekly emails to or other promotions to. So all this stuff over here is just different platforms. I didn't put Pinterest, but the same thing applies. Um, and you want to make sure that you're putting relevant um, freebies up for each of these platforms but on a mo on a one on a basic basic level you could have the same freebie right on let's say like your twitter page and you just duplicate that page rename the url slash instagram and then um add a new form with the same freebie names dash instagram and then just update your lead tag so it sounds like a lot it's easy to set oh if you're technical, I feel like it's easy to set up and figure out in ConvertKit. It's drag and drop. Same with Active Campaign. I don't think MailChimp can do all of this. And so, you know, if you're serious about your online brand and, well, if you're serious about your online brand, you need to be doing email marketing. And I cannot stress enough how I recommend just setting this up this way from the beginning so that as you grow and scale, you never know when something can go viral or something takes off of yours or like you get an influx of customers because someone with a large audience promoted you. You want to have this set up from the beginning um, and you can do it for Pinterest podcast. Um, I don't know anything you do. Basically, you want to be able to track. And this is the most simple way to do it as far as I wouldn't say simple, but probably cost effective way to do it. Uh, without adding a bunch of tools and third-party apps to like kind of do this stuff for you. So um, if you want to download this, I'm going to put it on a page. It'll be on learnwithari.com forward slash Twitter slash funnels and segmentation or funnels and segments. So this will be the URL. Ah. And you'll be able to download this. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to ask for your email or not because I don't have anything set up for it. But I don't know. Probably. We'll see. And yeah, that's what this is. So for your homework, I want you guys to sign up for ConvertKit. There'll be links and stuff for you guys. Um, and practice setting this up. Create a form. Create these tags. Your main list tag also. And follow what I did here in the blue. Um, and then for your freebie, you know, you can put it on your site. You can use lead pages, card, I think it's C-A-R-R-D. Um, you know, something to house your freebie that will accept their email and, you know, send it out to them. And yeah, that's it.